Hi everyone and welcome to Mighty Kiddos. In today's video, I'm so excited to be sharing with you the holiday gift guide. The age group that I will be covering in the gift guide is from zero to three months. So it will be broken up from zero to six months, six to 12 months, 12 to 24 months, and 24 to 36 months. So please be sure you look at the timestamp below in the description and go to the age group that you are most interested in. So now let's get right to it. The first section I want to talk to you about is Babies, infants from zero to six months. As you may know, kiddos don't need much, right? The first thing that kiddos are going to be doing at this age is mainly tummy time, right? So uh, no, it's no surprise that the first two toys I am suggesting is this mirror and this wobble musical toy. They are fantastic for tummy time. The We want kids to get used to looking at faces, right? And explore their images. And this wobble toy really helps with the reaching. And you could also use it to kind of test their hearing, right? You want, you want to rattle it here, rattle it there. You give it a little go and it wobbles so kids get really interested in using that. So these are by far super cool toys for any infant to have. Now the next toy that I have here to suggest is this high contrast book. And this high contrast book is amazing. It helps kids with their visual acuity. So they are interested in black and white and reds. Also this book has a lot of textures. Some pages have squeaky things on there. I really, really love this toy for kids because it also helps develop their fine motor skills, right? They're exploring different textures. They are learning on flipping pages. They're exploring it orally and it is totally okay it is non-toxic and it is cloth it is a material that it is not going to tear so this is very good for small hands now my last toy for this section is the this walker this wooden walker push walker is amazing I love it because at this age when kids are closer to six months old they're working on sitting so using the front toys here is going to be very interesting to the kiddos they want to touch they want to explore but when they're also ready to walk and, exp and work on the gross motor development. I like that this walker in the back, it has like a little basket. So you could actually put little weights on there so the walker doesn't ooh, go ahead of them, right? So the kids are able to manage it and it, you know, with more control and it allows for more proper development of, of walking skills. So this is why I really do like this walker. I do want to mention that I do have a full version of the gift guide in the link below. The if you click on the link below, it will take you to our website where you can download our gift guide and that will have the complete guide. So if you're interested to see all the toys, make sure you click on the link below. Now, let's now for the next age group, I want to share with you five toys. And the very first one is this tap and go dino. This is so important for kiddos that are learning to crawl. You want to motivate them to move their bodies towards an object. So this dino is super cool. You push it down and it moves forward. I mean, kids really love this and I feel like it is a very good natural way to get kids motivated to crawl. Now the next one is instruments. These wooden instruments are fantastic. With these instruments you are getting kids to explore their creativity. You are helping them work on fine motor skills, hand and eye coordination by clapping, by banging. You're teaching them to explore their environment differently. I really think that all children should have an an instrument set and the wooden ones that I'm suggesting here are fantastic for little ones. Now the other thing I would like to suggest for this age group is these silicone blocks. These are wonderful because we do want kids to work on their hand and eye coordination. So stacking is a very important skill. We want kids to start practicing as early as nine months. So these blocks give the children that ability. They're small enough for the hands. They won't hurt them. So they're not wooden and they're safe for them to mouth if they need to and are exploring at this age. Now, another one that perhaps I should have shared along with the crawling dino is a tunnel. A tunnel is so important for kids and it's so fun it encourages them to crawl you could use it in obstacle courses and the good thing about a tunnel is that you can start introducing it as early as six or seven months and even three years old seven year olds are going to love it they will play with it here and there you can take it outside to the park and it's just a fun toy to have and it doesn't take a lot of room because you just put it together put it under the couch, under the bed, it stores away easily. Now, the next toy I'm suggesting for this age group is this water toy. Oh my gosh, this water toy is so much fun. It is 
endless spraying without wasting water. So this little motor here, you put it under the tub, under the tub water, and it just constantly uses the water to come out of the, the little spout. Trust me, the kiddos will love it in their bath time, and they will also love it in their water table. So the next five toys are going to be for the age group of 12 to 24 months. And we will get started with these Melissa and Doug Jumbo Puzzles. Puzzles are really important for kiddos. They help them work with their fine motor skills and cognitive development. Now, not all kids like puzzles, so you might want to consider your child's personality before purchasing these. But if you are interested to give them a shot, these are really great. They are big pictures. The slots are pretty big and the knob makes it easy for them to manipulate instead of using using the small knobs. So this set of puzzles is definitely a good one to start with. Now the next one I want to suggest is this easel. Easels are so important for kids. They're so great. Playing on a vertical surface has so many benefits. I am working on a video on this topic. So if you are interested, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video when it gets um, published. But yes, this easel will be so great. You could easily fold it, put it behind something if you don't want to see it, but it does make art time and exploration a lot easier for kids. You could use magnets on there. You can use your chalk or paint. So it is really a cool toy that you can use not just for toddlers but like I said this is another toy that will grow with your kiddos so that's the part of functionality that I am always looking for and sustainability in terms of toys you want to make sure that you could get a good use of your toys so this one does cover all of that so before I move on, I am curious, which one is your favorite toy so far or which one are you thinking of getting your kiddo? Leave it down in the comments below. Now let's move on to the next one. Next one I have here, and this is by far one of Baby Z's favorite toys, and it is the Melissa and Doug cleaning supplies. This is so important at this age. Kids are so curious to copy what you do. If they see you sweeping all the time or if they see you ironing or washing dishes, get them any set like this that they're interested in. It is very important for them to learn how to role play, how to imitate. It does develop a lot of their independence and engaging in pretend play. So this is why I like this toy. Now the last one for this age group is this four in one toy kit. This toy kit is very similar to the Love It Every Toys. Obviously the quality is not going to be as high, but I love the fact that you can work on so many skills with just one toy because of the interchangeable lids. So you could work on putting, posting these small sticks. You could also work on the coins. And if you think that those two skills are the same, they are not. <laughs> They're very different and kids love to work on these skills at this age between 12 to 24 months each lid kind of adds a degree of difficulty so this really does help kids develop more of their fine motor skills and cognitive development as well so now in the, for the age group of 12 months to 36 months i'm going to share with you the next five toys now it's really important to keep in mind that during this age of development kids are really working on independence so they should really be working on self-help skills such as getting dressed perhaps managing a writing utensil a lot better like pencil start um paintbrushes and all of that. So a lot of these toys that I'm going to be suggesting for this age group do take an emphasis on that and gross motor development. For instance, jumping, walking more um, with more control, stepping over obstacles. And this may be hard for some kid kiddos that have developmental delays. So and helping practice these skills in a fun way is always very helpful and it helps kids meet their goals in a fun way. So the first toy I want to share with you is this electric doodle board. This is so cool because it looks like a tablet. You, It is electronic, but it doesn't have any music, any access to Wi-Fi. It is all run by a battery. And all you do is scribble. You could scribble with the pen that comes with it. You can make pictures. But the background, as you scribble, it you know, it reveals different colors on there. This toy that I'm suggesting is awesome because it will too grow with your child. So this is something your child can use if they take care of it for a very, very long time. JT still uses his and he's almost eight years old and we still practice his spelling words there for his test. I leave him little love notes on there. So it is something that can be a part of your daily living. So the next toy is targeting gross motor development and they are the cutest little 
turtles. They're called stepping turtles. And what you do essentially is just put the turtles in varying distances. It comes with a little spinner that can tell you jump on this one, jump on that one. Or you can just give your child little orders. Go here, go there, or have them follow you. I love this toy because it does not take a lot of room, right? You could store it under the bed, up on the closet, basically anywhere. And it really does work on jumping and doing that whole weight shifting that is important for kiddos and it really strengthens the core as you're working on balance as you're standing on this turtle. This is a really great toy. It's, it's a lot less expensive than other toys that target the same area. So this one is actually on Baby Z's li list as well. Now the next one that I have here is this travel pillow and I love it because it works on the fine motor skills that are going to be important for dressing and undressing. So you have a set of buckles here you have zippers and it is something that you could travel with you could give it to them in the car so they are staying entertained or this is something that you could just sit and help them hand over hand kind of work on it and this is a toy that kids are really interested in they're curious to try things that don't look so much like a toy so this is a really good toy for them to help them with the fine motor skills of dressing and undressing the next toy that I have here is the Kinetic Sand and this kit is fantastic because it comes with a storage bin, it comes with little uh, molds that you can do and kids love Kinetic Sand. I love it, it never dries out so it's not like you are playing with Play-Doh, which I still like, but Play-Doh you constantly have to keep buying new ones because they get old, they dry out and with Kinetic Sand it never does. It is very, very satisfying to touch it and explore it so kids really, really like this. And like I said, this is the best kit I found on Amazon and I hope you find that it is a good deal as well. The last toy I wanna share with you guys are these Duplos. Duplo sets are wonderful for kiddos this age. It helps them learn to follow instructions. You could help them identify colors. You can talk about size. It helps with language development, cognition, creativity, and fine motor development. So this toy is amazing for kiddos this age. I would suggest looking for sets that are good for 18 months and up. Maybe you don't want to do anything more difficult than four-year-olds um, for this age group. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will catch you on our next one. Take care.